Chapter 4, Mishnah 1. The chapter opens with various cases where a sota does not drink the sota water because she is not completely married. An Arusa and a woman waiting for the Yavam do not drink the sota water and they do not collect their kasuba payments. They do not drink the water because it is stated regarding a sota in Numbers, chapter 5, verse 29. When a woman shall stray from under her husband, which implies that she is married. This excludes an Arusa, who is not fully married, and a woman awaiting the Yavam, who is not married at all. The following women are completely married, yet they do not drink the water because their marriages are forbidden. A widow married to a Kohen Gadol, a divorcee or a, or a Halutza, i.e. a woman who performed Halitza, married to an ordinary Kohen, a Mamzeris or Nasina, married even to Yisrael, i.e. a non-Kohen, uh, and even a daughter of a Yisrael married to a Mamzer or a Nasin, neither drink the water nor collect their kasuba payments. The sota water may be drunk only by a woman who may return to her husband. Therefore, these women who are prohibited to their husbands do not drink the water.